What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to do a practice coding assessment on Leak Code. So what's cool about Leak Code is they also have it based off of the company you want. So you can do like a practice Microsoft assessment, a practice Google assessment, but those are behind a paywall. So if that's something you're interested in, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to show you how to get to that in the first place. So at the top here on the interview uh, part of the tab, just hover over it and then click assessment and you make sure you're also logged into Leak Code. That just helps out a lot. You know, it tracks your stats and everything. Like, why not? It'll just help you know where you're at better. So um, here you go. These are the ones that are free. So you can do a practice online assessment and then you can do a practice phone interview, but this is also just, uh, it'll just give you a set of practice questions. So it just does it based off of um, what these are. So generally, online assessments even from my personal experience are like one to two hours is the time limit you get phone interview generally shorter and then the on-site usually is like the final round of interviews and those are the longer and the harder questions and as you can see they are attempted a bunch of times actually no the least amount of times um, but yeah, so let's just do one of these just so I can show you what's going on. So I'm going to do the online assessment. I'm going to click start. And as you can see, each session will include up to two questions. You will have one hour to complete all the questions. Once the mock session assessment session begins, you cannot pause the timer. The mock session... Anyways, you can read the rest of this. I don't want to waste too much time. But if you want to see the difference, like you can just see um, the on-site is four questions and it gives you two hours to do it and then the phone interview I believe is one hour 30 minutes so um, yeah they're ordered by how long they take so let's just do this one start mock assessment and take a look at what it looks like so basically this is kind of like an exam now we got two questions and if I want to go to the next one I can either go up here and click question two and it'll load question two or I can go back here and then obviously you can go next like this as well. I recommend opening the console, so click that so you can see what you're inputting into your test case and your code results. So let me just run this really quick. I don't know, return image, run code. It's gonna tell me wrong answer, but yeah. So here we go. Oh wait, it actually, Oh wait, no. It doesn't tell you if it's correct or not. It only tells you if it's correct if you click submit. It's not like regular leak code. Leak code will tell you if you just run it, if it's correct or not. With the assessment, it doesn't tell you. And honestly, that is pretty accurate for what you get in actual online assessments. So let me click submit and it'll tell me if it's wrong or not because it wants to track your submissions, not each time you run it. So yep, wrong answer. It'll tell you the expected one now. And yeah, so that's basically how these online mock assessments work. Once you're done these both, um, I believe, I'm gonna click, let me just click submit here as well. Okay, and when you're ready to go, you can just click exit session up here. Um, so, this isn't recommended if you're not done, it looks like. If you exit now, you won't get an accurate score of four weeks. Yeah, so it, it can tell that I'm leaving really early and that my questions aren't actually done. So if you were actually to complete the questions, then the session would actually complete. But um, yeah, you know, I don't really wanna do that for the purpose of making a shorter video. So I'm gonna click exit session and then just exit. And yeah, so it gives you a report as well afterwards. Um, it gives you some attempts, but as you can see, unfortunately, because you exited the interview early, your score report will not be available until 9.36 a.m. So it gives you a lower priority because you quit basically <laughs> on, your, uh, on your report for your test. So that's how you practice these. Honestly, I've done a couple of these myself. They're good, they help you uh, practice the time constraint aspect of the interview where you know just doing the questions doesn't help you kind of put yourself in that time crunch situation so i do recommend these and hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you did please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys